All right, so today we're going to be talking about the travels of Fashion and Marco Polo and the similarities and differences between them. First, before we do that, I'm going to explain what they were. So basically, Fashion was a Buddhist uh, from northern China that went from northern China all the way down to India using the Silk Road and then. Marco Polo, who's a Venetian, who went from Venice to Israel and then hopped on the Silk Road all the way to the Shangsu, uh, no, the Xi'an Palace uh, uh, for the Kai, uh, Khans, Kublai Khan, uh, to join his court. Well, not originally, but his main purpose was to go there as a traitor. And, well,. As we know the story, he sticked around and became one of the Khan's uh, like diplomat for the West. And so, going back to Fashion, the reason he made the trip was to find, uh, since the Buddhists didn't have much in northern China, he went all the way down to India to find uh, to find more readings about uh, Buddha and all of his uh, other books that came out of India. So these two two different uh, travelers came from two different time periods. We're about nine hundred years apart, and we're gonna look at the similarities and the differences of the two. So now we're going to look at the differences and similarities. We're going to start with the differences between the two travelers. And first off, the reasons for their travels were drastically different. On one side, you had Faxion, who was a Buddhist monk, who made his uh, travels to India with a deeply religious purpose. His purpose was to, quote, seek the disciplinary rules. That's in his narrative. Basically, he was searching for precincts of the laws of Buddhism to bring back to China for the people, for the Buddhists practicing there. Um, on the other hand, you had Marco Polo, who was a Venetian uh, merchant slash trader. And the purposes for his journey was started out mostly commercial. So there was no religious purpose f for it at first. And he basically, he was inspired by his father who um, took him on travels as a child and he wanted to achieve that. And um, so, he tra so he made his journey to along the Silk Road to China for that reason. Later, once he met the met Kublai Khan, the great Khan of the Mongols, his reasons for traveling changed a bit. They went from commercial exploration to a diplomatic role, which was connecting the East with the West. Kublai Khan wanted uh, Marco Polo to go back to the Pope and um, and basically make some sort of uh, treaty and just talk with one another. And another uh, difference between them was the routes that they took. They went in entirely separate directions. You had Marco Polo in the west coming from Italy and going east towards um, the Mongol Empire and Mongolia and through Russia in that area. And then on the other hand, you had... Um, you had uh, Fashion who was going to India and in a different route through, um, through the Silk Road. Another difference is the, the time and how the route changed over time. Um, during Fashion's time, the, the, the route was relatively new and was underdeveloped, but during Marco Polo's time, 900 years later, there was a lot more development in along the road. And now we're going to look at the similarities between them. There are not that many similarities, but there are some. 
Some of the similarities are they both encounter dangers on their journey, like m vast deserts, de uh, mountain ranges, wars, bandits, and other uh, valleys and other areas. As well as they both w were documented very closely, they met a lot of friends throughout this journey, and they brought into the light of the their. They both had a major similarity of exploration of knowledge, which documented their whole journey and how they wanted to learn about each different culture and help expand their knowledge on the ideas. Throughout this journey, it helped cause a different idea to happen and bring ideas to different lights for different countries. That's all. Thanks.